do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so this is the second numerical which is based on average atomic mass but this has a different data and in this case we should know that how can we calculate this kind of data where some skills are also being required so let us see the given question they have mentioned that we have an element of x which has two isotopes of uh, masses that is 59.97 uh, uh, unified mass and that of uh, the another one has 61.98 unified mass if their abundance is 40 percent and 60 percent respectively then we have to calculate the average atomic mass in unified mass as well as in kg also so this is a different kind of numerical as well as the extra step also we have to follow in this case but the most thing that we are going to talk it about the element x is been mentioned and the isotopes are not been mentioned so the thing is we are now going to separate this two isotopes or we are we are going to consider the two isotopes as so suppose i am considering about since it is two isotopes suppose i am considering the atom as x a for a particular uh, isotope so therefore for x a the percentage or the mass atomic mass that they have provided to us is this is the atomic mass that they have provided us for x a that i have considered which is nothing but 59.97 unified mass and the abundance i would write it here itself that is abundance for this thing that is mentioned as 40 percentage while that of i am considering the another isotope uh, like uh, xb suppose xb and in this case the atomic mass that they have provided to us is somewhere around 61.98 unified mass while that of the abundance is 60 percentage so these are the data that we have evaluated from the uh, question and now it is very much simple to understand that how can we calculate the average atomic mass so let us do it by following the formula and the formula will be the formula will be very much simple that is for uh, average atomic mass for x in this case they have asked for x so we know the formula that I could write it as the atomic mass of one isotope in this case it was xa into the abundance of xa i'll add with the atomic mass of xb into abundance of xb the whole should be divided by so the thing that we are going to do is we are now going to substitute the values in this formula and let's see what uh, the answer that we could get so the atomic mass of xa which was found to be or which was uh, given to us was around 59.97 unit while that of the abundance of that one which was nothing but 40 percentage and for atomic mass uh, for atomic mass of xb for another isotope it was given as 61.98 unified mass into the abundance which was nothing but 60 percentage so this whole thing will be divided by 100 and let's see what is the answer that we could get so the answer which is uh, found after this formula is found to be 61.176 unified mass so this is the average atomic mass that we have got but this is not the final answer that we have got they have also asked to calculate the uh, answer in kg so for that thing we know that one unit is equals to uh, that is one unified mass that is they have already given to us that is one unified mass is nothing but somewhere around 1.6605 into 10 raised to minus 27 kg so this is for one unified mass so now when we are talking about the um, average atomic mass that we have got that is the average atomic mass of x in kg will be nothing but 
61.176 unified mass multiplied by 1.6605 into 10 raised to minus 25, 27 kg. So let us see what is the answer that we could get. So the answer that we have got is 1.015 into 10 raised to minus 25 kg. Very much simple. So this were the two data that we have uh, found from the given question by using the formula of average atomic mass. Very much simple. So I hope you are going to do this kind of numericals in your future also and try to do much more numericals and uh, it will be a very happy thing for you. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have got an idea that how to calculate this numericals. So share this video with your friends and yes, don't forget to subscribe eGita channel. Thank you.